in respond to your question about bacteria in the brain, in general, there aren't a lot of bacteria in the brain. Um, even if there was some fuel left over after the preservation process, I'm suggesting that it would be easy to detect that there had been damage done and it could be reconstructed. It wouldn't be set in such a way that we wouldn't know what had happened. So when I say it's not a problem, it's an issue that needs to be addressed, but it's not a problem that can't be resolved through observation, basic observation. I mean, we'll see the damage and we'll know that that's not the person, that's something else that occurred after the preservation process. But you're right, I mean, it's something that needs to be considered and I didn't want to dismiss your point. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. Um, obviously, you thought something about it, so it's not a simple matter for you. It's something you seriously think could be a problem. And it's something that has to be investigated, obviously, in terms of looking into the recording process. That's why where it's being investigated. So um, not to dismiss your point, but I, I think it's not a major point at this point without knowing more about the process and w whether we are getting a good recording, um, capturing the actual identity critical information. And that's why the research has to be done to prove it. But I, I think it, it's... I don't see that as a showstopper. I mean, it's certainly, you know, you, you, you're correct. There's something going on and it should be thought about. But I, I don't think it's going to be non-obvious that it's going on if it is actually eating the brain. Anyways, I hope that's a better answer. Thanks.